Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. I'm Ella and in this video we are going to create a base plate for this star call. This belongs to a large scale project and we are going to model only base plate number 12 which is a very high detailed base plate. As you can see we have lots of parts and details in this base plate. So without wasting time let's just get started. First let's look at different parts. As you can see this is our comb here it has a cross section and it is a star comb and if you want to learn how you can create one you can watch this video here since we don't have any star comb in default columns of Revit we have to create it ourselves but the problem is when you create columns by yourself you can't actually use this connection and all of these different parts so we need to create the base plate manually and control each part ourselves i have set this column as you can see it's here and now we're going to just start with the biggest plate so as you can see here this is the size of our plate it's in a square by 101 in each side so go back to revit and while we're in structural line go to steel tab and select plate select rectangle and create a rectangle in this part first we are going to set dimensions Select one of the lines and in this part you can change it to 1.1 and now select another one and change this one to 1.1 as well. Now if you want to move this rectangle exactly to this part and you want it to be in the center, select line and create a line from this part to here. Now select all of the lines, click on move and now you can see this dash line here and you can use this center midpoint to move your rectangle to exactly this point now you can delete the center line and hit finish let's go to section and look what we did okay that's fine now let's go back here and find our plate so as you can see this is the detail about this plate that we had created it's 1.1 each side and its thickness is 35 millimeter now if you want to change its thickness just select your plate and from properties change its thickness but as you can see we have this overlap here so to fix this select your column and from base offset give the thickness of this plate which was 35 millimeter Let's just give it another color. Select your plate, open a structural material and change it to something like this, just to see better. For the next part, we are going to model these plates here. First, let's model this one. So this detail says that we have two plates, one in this part and one in this part. It's 108 in one side and 15 centimeter in the other side and it has 2 centimeter thickness. And if you want to see it in detail, you need to go to BP20 which is in this part with all of those numbers. So let's just do it. Select plate and set your work plane on this face, this one exactly. Select rectangle and draw one here. We had 15 cm for this part and 108 for the other side. Hit finish and change its thickness from here, which was 2 cm. Okay, now we need to move this to its location. Go to a structural plan and move this to here. Copy it to the other side this plate is exactly like these two parts so we can change its numbers without creating it from scratch so we're going to just rotate this one select rotate and check this copy box here now if you rotate it 90 degrees you will have another plate in this part which you can move to here click on edit boundary and go to one of these views let's go with this one in here you can change its dimension to 1.5 and 2 centimeter thickness so if you go to structure and move this one to here 
and move this one to here copy one of these to the other side okay and just simply go to annotate and do a detail line from here to this part now select all of these plates and your detail line move it away select move again and use this line to put it exactly on the center delete this line and you have put it exactly on the center next part is this plate here we have two plates of this size it's 104 by 50 centimeter and 2 centimeter for its thickness if you want to see it in detail you need to find this plate let's move down and yes that's it we have also these offsets for this plate so we're going to create a rectangle first and then change all of these numbers this plate is parallel to this one so we are going to select this face select plate and set your work plane exactly on this face select your rectangle and your rectangle here go to one of your sections according to numbers we need to have 50 centimeter height and 104 length like this we have 5 centimeter offset in here and 15 centimeter offset from this part so how we can do that select line and do a line here and do another line in this part now if you click on this line you can control your dimension from here and also if you want to control this dimension you just need to select it like this and enter your dimension extend it to this part and just draw another line exactly from here to this part use trim to cut all of these lines and now you can just delete these two if you don't want to do all of these process again just select your lines and use mirror and this center line to copy them on the other side if you want to fix its location you need to go to section again and just move it from this point to here select your plate and copy it from this part to here next plate is this one in here you can see that we have two plates one in here and one in this side it's 49 by 50 and it has two centimeter thickness so let's go back select plate and set our work plane on this face and just simply draw a rectangle now if you go to the other section you can control all of the dimension we have 50 centimeter height and 49 centimeter length while you're here just move it to exactly this point hit finish and change its thickness go back to structure plan and copy it from here to this side let's move on to smaller plates we're going to start with this so we have four plates two in this part and two in this part with 27 centimeter width and 50 centimeter height and 2 centimeter thickness let's check bp 27 2. it's exactly like this one all of these dimension but we have 27 centimeter width and 50 centimeter height so we need to set our work plane exactly on this plate like this and we're going to create a rectangle here let's go to section number two for this side we need 50 centimeter and if you select this line you can change it to 27 centimeter width like this move it to this part and again it's fit as you can see we have this 15 centimeter plate here and it's exactly in this part so you don't need to create it again just use this line hit finish for its location here we're going to 
check if we have any specific dimension all of these parts so as you can see we don't have any dimension for all of these parts so we are going to set them in the center of these parts select your detail line and create a line in this part and another one in here create two other lines in the center of this plate and another one in the center of this plate now select dimension and create a dimension for all of them in here if you click on eq all of these dimensions will be equal now you can just simply select your plate and move it from its center to this part and just copy it for this part as well select both of them and mirror them to the other side with this center line here let's go back to autocad for the final plate which is this one check this base plate it's here and it is just a little bit different from this one we have all of these dimension but our length is slightly different so we're going to copy this and only change this dimension go back to Revit select your plate go back to structural plate and with rotate we're going to copy this 90 degree for now leave it here and go to 3d section select it click on edit boundary and move this line like this move it to this part since we don't have any dimension in this part as well we're going to use the same technique but actually we can use these two plates as well so first let's make this plate align with this one go to annotate and create detail lines in all of these parts use dimension to make them equal and now you can just simply select your plate and copy it from its center to this part and this part delete dimension and all of these lines select these four plates and mirror them like this everything is in its place and it actually looks so good now final part is bolts or anchors for adding them to this base plate we have only this detail here as you can see we have 75 millimeter in this part and almost 16 centimeter between each anchor so now let's go to Revit go to structure and still tap while you're in 3D view, select anchor from here and then select your base plate. Press enter and now select the face that you want to create your anchor on, like this. Now you can go to structure plan and draw a rectangle in this part. You can remember that we have this offset in all of these parts. It was like 75 millimeter. We can fix it by this dimension. Now select your bolts and in this part change it to I have checked all of these and this one looks more like this. Now change its diameter to 30 instead of 36 and we are going to change this one to only NAV so we have only one like bolt here. We are going to change this length to 80 or length was 155 but we only have this one here and also we are going to change anchor orientation to outside however we don't have any information about this in here we are going to create another one for this set because actually we can control this dimension so it's better to just simply create another one so copy them on themselves and go to edit pattern in a structural 
create a rectangle in this part and move this line and also do the same for this part as well select those rectangles and hit finish if you scroll down here you can change this number like this and for this part you can just simply rotate this with copy 90 degrees now you have exactly 24 anchors set on their place so yes that's it i hope this was useful for you and you enjoyed watching this tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video